chances are pretty good your life has been touched in some way by cancer. The American Cancer Society says cancer is the second leading cause of death in the U.S. The deadly disease, of course, has a very long history. In fact, anthropologists have found evidence that indicates that cancer dates back to the ancient Egyptians. That's 3,000 years before Christ. Fossilized bone tumors have been found in human mummies. Dr. Manny Alvarez is Fox News' senior managing health editor. Cancer is a natural biological process, so it has been around since the beginning of time. An Egyptian textbook on trauma surgery called the Edwin Smith Papyrus describes eight cases of tumors. Also found in these ancient writings, the words, there is no treatment. Nobody really knew what uh, cancer is uh, because it wasn't until the start of, you know, the cell biology that people began to understand the nature of how these uh, cells behave, how they multiply. Uh, and as that science, which is basically a science that evolved in the 20th century, then it became uh, a medical issue that we still are, you know, uh, struggling with today. And why is cancer so difficult to treat? Look, what we're, what we're learning today about cancer is that cancer is a biology that sometimes is unique to the individual. Every cell in our human body is basically uh, controlled by the, by the genomics, by the genes of ourselves. And then what is happening now, you're trying to target the treatment uh, specifically for that genetic code so that you have, you have better effectiveness in getting a cure. The Jackson Laboratory is a National Cancer Institute designated cancer Cancer Center. Doctors there say there are many reasons why cancer is so difficult to treat. For one thing, cancer cells, even within the same tumor, can be quite different. Why don't we have a cure yet? Well, we have a cure for a lot of things, and we have certainly we have cures nowadays for uh, cancers that are identified in early stages. So the, the, the struggles that we have with cancer today really fall into two categories. One category is that there are some cancers that we don't have enough tools to make early diagnosis, and that's a fact. And also now we're learning we can use our own cells to fight off cancer, and then you, you know, that's the kind of research that's moving forward. And in terms of last question about immunotherapy, would you describe it as groundbreaking or promising? No, immuno immunotherapy is real, it's groundbreaking, and it's gonna continue to grow in the research for cancer treatments. Groundbreaking cancer treatments, something we'll continue to look into for you right here on Fox 5. I'm Sharon Crowley.